Hey all, Silver Plains here, and today we're playing Super Mario Maker 2, and we're going to check out the top 5 most popular Super Expert levels of the week for the week of March 25th, 2024, so let's jump into it. All right, we are doing a midweek list of levels, and as you can see, number two and number four have both been played already in previous videos. So today we're starting at number seven, Kaizo Light Case Cold by SMWP91. Have fun with ice, two checkpoints. Dude's all about those dollar signs. I love two checkpoint Kaizos. I also enjoy this maker's levels played some before in uh, other episodes of this series so we'll see how this goes is this like a buzzy wake up no okay and i failed but i see what i'm doing all right let's try this again it's a little bit sketchy to be holding a shell and having to bounce on enemies especially moles because you can get some hitbox jank so it seems to work out okay in this level though and wow, these setups are decent. Kind of stretched a little bit, but, you know, not bad. I don't mind the tightness. What else we got? Okay. Whiffed it. I kind of wish that was to the right by one. I'm used to, like, everything being more stretched, and that's actually a bit more forgiving on the spacing. So, yeah, pull back there. Uh, okay. I mean, I see what went wrong. All right, let's try this again. I'm seeing some, like, pulling back in this section versus the first section. Even right there, you can catch up to the shell and definitely hit it if you're not careful. All right. Hold Y and right. Got it. Holding. Neat little auto section. I like this. It'd be cool if it was a different trick than just kicking the shell a bunch, but hey. I'm not going to complain about an easy section. It was still pretty neat. Uh, yeah, good level. Very fun. I enjoyed the setups. Uh, first section, again, a little stretched. Second section, had to pull back a little. I think there was some good balance there. I get what the maker was going with for his theme. All right, now we've got Soaring Shell Space TS by Koops Troop, made for T-Pals collab, hold jump through shell bounces and throws to checkpoint, good luck. And I'm guessing this is hopefully an official team shell level. It probably is. So yeah, I'll, I'll get a couple more team shell points. Okay, okay. So far, so good. Okay. Wow, I just pulled back a little too much there. Alright, so anyway, there I was playing a team shell level for my YouTube video when all of a sudden I died. <laughs> like that, see, exactly. <laughs> okay, anyway, here we go again. We're we're doing it. I'm doing the things. Chuck that. Whoa, buddy. All right, cool. We made it to a checkpoint. All right, and I don't know. I just, I threw it, man, but I was holding down, I swear. Yo, all right. Woo! Nice! Into the up pipe, baby! I like it when I can hit those up pipes. Y'all know they give me trouble sometimes. Well, that's scary. Like, my instincts did not tell me go right for that spike trap, so that's a little bit of a precise jump. I don't think it's anything I can't handle. I just... My instincts were against that one on sight reading. Oh, good God. Brig. There we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I wanted to do. All of that stuff. And get the heck out of that level. That was fun. 
very enjoyable, mostly bounces. I liked the bucket throws as well. And I will go ahead and submit a clear for that in Team Shell. All right, and that one is rated one in Team Shell. Pretty low rating, pretty easy level. Moving on to number three, even though it's five. This is Lava Castle Ruins by Brand98, a two checkpoint level with a little bit over 1% clear rate. I believe that's what the last level was at too. And Brand98 makes some really good levels. So this should be fun. All right, so far it's pretty straightforward. I think there's a lot of switches on the ceiling there. Maybe one too many or two too many. I don't know why you'd want to jump that far back. Anyway, not a big deal. Yes, okay. Yo, all right, we got the checkpoint. That just kind of flowed magnificently. Okay, I see what I need to do there. I just didn't execute properly. Yeah, like that. Okay, 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 okay. I pulled back a little bit. Okay, yeah, you can just go straight to the skull lift. I think the icicle's more there to make sure the player is moving. Hmm. Okay, do I have to do all that again? Yeah, I sure do, because there was not a checkpoint. That's fine. Once you get this stuff down, it's not, like, super hard or anything. Look, here we are again, through the pipe. Okay, this time I need to watch that jerk of a thwomp. Yeah, you. Stupid thwomp. Okay. Nice, nice, okay. Progress is being made. Cool. That was very cool. Oh, jeez, the spike trap barely caught me. If there's a one-way wall there, I don't think that spike trap is necessary. Uh, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it is, but... Seems a bit unnecessary to me. So I'll just pull back and loop around it. It's fine. Oh, jeez, I jumped right into him. The one-up freaked me out, man. Yeah, just go under that guy. Ugh. And I didn't see the track. So I am having to do a little bit of trial and error with this last part. It's nothing crazy, but just about enough to drive me nuts. Running under that guy and stuff, I've jumped right into him before. Yo, all right. Cool, cool. I like it. That last part was pretty readable and forgiving. <sighs> Trial and error again. I did not expect to have to also jump into the claw. I know the claw was right on the screen, but I, I don't know. I just thought I can make it, right? I can jump up from this pill blaster wrong. Definitely wrong, and now I have to do this again. It's fine. I think I've got it down. Okay. Yet again. This time I know. We go here, here, and then here. Wow, that's tight. That is a tight ending, and you know what? I'm not a fan. All right, here we are yet again. Okay. It took a little bit of effort to do that last part, but you just gotta jump, 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 jump. 
You can't pause at all on anything or else it's too late. A uh, good level overall, very fun. Last section was a little bit tough to at least sight read, but yeah, not too bad. All right, so we've done number four by Gringo DK. We're going straight up to number three, which is number two today, 5-1, Lifted Skies by Yo. Hidden routes for world record, birthday special, one checkpoint, enjoy. Hidden routes? Wow. And it's Yo's birthday, apparently. Happy birthday, Yo. This level is extremely painful for me. You know, the last really fun new soup level I played was by Big Red Boy. That was super, super fun. I guess I'm not trying to say this isn't fun, that I'm not having fun, but it's kind of driving me nuts a little bit. Okay, well, we, we made it. Yes, progress has been made. All right. I was kind of looking for the, uh, you know, sneaky route, whatever it may be. I can't find anything, at least not yet. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, so many ground pound cancels that are just not necessary. I just, I need to just not. Okay. Ooh, oh, oh, yep, that, I was supposed to jump over there. Now there is something in this part that I'm kind of curious about. That vine with the icicle, do you think it's a sneaky little path? Do you think it's a super risky jump into a secret spot? I kind of feel like it might be. Am I good enough to even grab the vine? Probably not, but... Okay. Well... That is not it. Okay, I, I did grab the vine though, but you can't go in that pipe. So that's not a secret path. I'm trying. I'm trying to find the secret path. Okay. Oh my god, I jumped way too soon. Alright, first section drove me nuts. Guess what? Second section drives me nuts too. I just, I don't seek out these uh, new soup platforming levels. They're not really Kaizo. I prefer Kaizo. Anyway, it's fine. Just not something that I seek out to play. Hey, look at that. So I have no idea where any of the secret routes would be. I did search around for them. Kind of waste a little bit of time doing that. Fun level overall, uh, even though it's not something I would ever seek out to play unless it shows up in like, you know, popular or it's a random one I pick for like uncleared expert. But yeah, anyway, good nonetheless. Let's move on. So number two is by Luwuka 6-3, Bridging Bad. We played that in another video. So we are moving on to number one, 3-4, Totem Hokum by Luwuka. Totem Pole? More like Totem Mole. Okay, cool. So we're going to see some mole stacks in this level, perhaps. I always love this maker's courses, so I'm excited to see what this one's all about, too. Oh, hey, look at that. A thwomp on a mole. So, funny thing about totem poles, you'll hear people say, hey, I'm at the bottom of the totem pole, implying, like, you know, they're the least favorable option or whatever. Um, in all reality, totem poles at the bottom is, like, the highest, uh, highest rank. So, like, they'd put the king or, you know, mayor, whoever it may be, at the bottom of the totem pole when making totem poles, and it's actually the person on the top of the totem pole that is the lowest rank. So, the phrase, bottom of the totem pole, is always interpreted wrong. It's kind of weird. And I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong about that, but that's my understanding of totem poles is the bottom rank is actually the higher rank in the tribe or whatever, you know. <laughs> I said mayor earlier, but you know what I mean. Okay. 
So I need to go all the way over here, then I need to quickly go back. Yeah, like that. Alright. And I can't quite reach that. Wow, it's so close. Luwuka knows what he's doing, man. Okay. Oh, fun! That's very fun. I like how that was set up. Nicely done. So yeah, in this case, Monimul is, you know, the god of this totem pole. Okay. Okay, and he's gone. Goodbye, Monty. Fun little spot there. Alright. Run in, jump in. Doing some back and forth. Nice. I feel like it's been a long time of playing the level and no checkpoint yet. And I got poked by a Monty Mole. How? Oh, I did get a checkpoint. I'm dumb. Okay. I was just ranting so much about totem poles, I didn't even notice the checkpoint, I guess. Alright, well, we'll get back to that other part. I can't believe I died by getting poked by a Monty Mole. Their hitboxes are so fickle, their noses are so sharp and pointy, that of course they're gonna kill you if you touch them on the nose. Do not touch Monty Mole on the nose, his pointy nose will stab you. It's sharper than a knife. Sharper than a knife through the heart. Okay, I'm ready for it this time. Die, don't poke me, you're all dead. Okay, now what do we have? Alright, I think I see what I'm doing here. Nice. That scared me a little bit. It worked though, whoa, okay, okay. No, hmm. What? Like this? Get in the door! That was fun. Hey, and we got another one. Okay. Is this just a precise spin jump, though? I can't reach up here. I think, I legit think he wants me to do... Oh, there's one-way walls. I'm still scared. Okay. It works. The one-way walls actually save you. It's not a true precision move. Whoops! Okay, yeah, and then I gotta spin jump back over. I see what I'm doing. Okay. So, here we go again. Um... Okay. Do I need to... I bet I need to... Hold on. I bet I need to do this. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's what I need to do. Okay. Go under here. Whoa, don't hurt me, bro. Okay. Then we go back over. Spin jumps. Oh, hey, look at that. Little one up. Okay. This is the uh, coolest use of thwomps I've seen in a level for a long time. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, you almost killed me there. You almost got me. Whoa, okay, okay. I wasn't prepared for that, but I see what I'm doing here. Alright, here we go again. This time I'll be ready for it, I swear. Okay, so that is quite the, uh, yeah, quite the fast, yeah. You just gotta do that, you can't ride the thwomp back, okay. Don't hurt me, I saw that boom boom hiding, I didn't know what he was doing, so I just had to touch the goal and get the heck out of there. 
a really, really good level. Super fun. I loved all the setups. Very creative, great use of thwomps and moles, and they are quite the combo. And with that, I will uh, bid you all farewell. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching the video. Much love, good vibes. I will throw the level IDs into the description and see you in the next one. Take care.